Let's talk about the MVP, Minimal Viable Product. Hey, and welcome everyone. It's day six. I hope you had a good rest day yesterday. It's Monday here. The energy is back in the office. And I want to kind of show you a bit on what's going on with our product launch. What are we working on? We discussed a bit the product market fit, worked a bit into this. And so now this real question is, depending on, obviously, if you're running your own business, you may have this similar question, but I want to kind of Get, take a bit behind the scenes here. Well, we have these ideas. So how do we roll this out? I've been discussing like new fiat on ramps. We have the smart bundles. We have rebalancing bundles. Now there's discussions on, well, how can we have uh, more some uh, auto compounding kind of bundles or staking that may be very tax efficient in other regions? How do we roll these things out? Now, you could do this in a perfect manner where you plan for weeks and months or maybe even years in some organizations. You, you try to do everything perfect. And then at the end, you fingers crossed hope that it actually works out. The same on the marketing side, right? It's not only product. You may have a, like a marketing campaign launch and you think, you know what? Let's do this picture perfect. Everything is designed and executed and strategized and tactics till the very end. And then you go with this marketing campaign. And then you realize, oh, no, it's not even working. Or my product, oh, no, actually, the customers are not really picking this up. Well, the key kind of term for all of this is called a minimal viable product, MVP. And what you're trying to do there is you're trying as quick and as fast as possible, if it works on the product side, that you see if customers really pick this up. You want to have this self-evidence that this is actually what's happening, that that's what's working. On the marketing side, it's exactly the same thing. You want to see that what you're doing with the marketing is actually what's going to happen, what's going to work. There's a lot of companies who do this in a very, very fantastic manner. I always think, for example, Elon Musk with Tesla does an excellent job. He always goes, pitches the car that he wants to sell. He has a sign-up page. People need to put a commitment down. And then he has some kind of idea on how many customers actually want the car. He actually wants this product. Amazon did this in a very simple manner, or similar manner. Instead of making an online store with like, tens of thousands of different products. Jeff Bezos went and said, okay, let's pick some categories. Let's boil it down to one or two or three categories and start with that. And he started famously with books and then expanded only from there. Airbnb did it in a similar manner. Instead of going super wide and super crazy, they kind of started at home and checked out if this actually works. If we look back five years ago on Pig's site, we also started with a simple website, a sign-up page that was all about, are you interested in getting cash from your crypto? Fill in your email address, and we're going to be in touch once we have more. And our idea was, hey, if we can just get a couple hundred people to sign up, that gives us a good idea that people want to have access to that. And I think we had thousands of people sign up and just said, hey, you know what? People really want that. On the marketing side, you can go a very similar approach. Instead of going and running a humongous campaign for tens of thousands, a hundred of thousands of dollars, you can actually go and maybe say, you know what, let's, te let's test the, the tagline, let's test the headline, let's test the picture, maybe for example on, on Facebook with some ads or on Google, and we just test this with some dollars and kind of get a bit of a sense, what are the words that are really speaking to people, what are the colors that really speak to people, what are the pictures or the graphics that really speak to people, and so you kind of with very small budget, you can really test and try what should the campaign look like at the very end, right? And that's such an important concept to understand. The big mistake, and we're going to discuss this actually in the next couple of days. We're going to boil down there. The humongous mistake is sometimes that people think of an MVP that they just take a sliver of one feature and they make this feature picture perfect, right? This idea, we call this always the skateboard technique internally. The mistake, for example, if you want to have a perfect car is to go and make perfect wheels and then show these perfect wheels to the customer. And the customer says, I don't want perfect wheels. I want a vehicle that drives. So the idea is you think a bit backward and you basically come up with this skateboard. So you have everything that the final car has just in a simpler and straightforward manner. This obviously means uh, on the user experience, on the design, maybe on the returns, on, on a lot of things. And you're going to see this and I'll show that to you in the next couple of days in the videos. When we approach, for example, the Fiat on ramp, my goodness, there are so many different questions. Which jurisdictions? Which currencies? Should it be credit card? Should it be bank transfer? Should it be in the app? Should it be on the website? Should it be like this, 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 this? And I could go and say, you know what? I would want everything. I want the best user experience. I want all the options, all these things. 
And engineering is going to tell me, yeah, sure, we can have this, but it's going to take a few weeks to develop. And I sit there and say, no, no, I want to have this in the next couple of days. And so the question really there is, how can I have this evidence? This is really w working and, and that's what customers want. And so you need to kind of really understand how to do the UX side, the design side. You obviously need to have the, the security that's there. And all these things are super crucial. And it's always a bit of a trade-off in this MVP decision. But I promise you, you look at any good business, any good entrepreneur, they're always working on this MVP model on anything that they do. Whenever they launch something new, they have a hunch, they have an idea. And how to get this, we're actually going to be discussing tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to have a very, very crucial day. We're going to be talking about the avatar, about who are you serving. We're going to talk about that hunch. But then as soon as you have that hunch, and that is a lot of intuition, and from there, you need to go and you need to get the data. You need to get the evidence as quick as possible that your core audience, your core target group actually wants what you have to provide as a product. Also from a marketing standpoint, that your hunch in how to do marketing, what language, what words, what colors and so on, that this is actually receptive from your target audience. And that's going to be an absolute crucial thing before we then go the day after and we take deeper into how do you do your product MVP. And then we're going to discuss how do you do your marketing MVP. And I'm not only going to give you the theory here. I really want to take you behind the scenes and show that to you. How are we doing this right now with our fiat on ramp? How are we doing this with the smart bundles? How are we doing this with launching new coins or adding new coins? Maybe adding and launching new yield opportunities, right? I really want to take you here behind the scenes. I had to kind of use that day to day, give a bit of the ground floor, the basis when it comes to MVP it is such an essential concept. It's a very difficult concept, but it's absolutely important for any successful business. So I hope that makes sense. If you have amazing ideas for MVPs out there where you have seen companies do this, maybe let me know in the comments down below. Always love to see that. And otherwise, I hope I'll see you tomorrow when we talk about the target audience, how we can really tailor the MVP for that audience. See you there. Yours truly, Julian. Bye-bye.